What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Sup, everybody? Glad to see you. Welcome back. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna start the episode off in the old town, the uh, the bottom side cove, just to see what's up and see, see see make sure everything's doing okay. I know some of you guys may not have been too excited that we moved out to the desert, but that's fine because we'll still be back here uh, plenty of times. There's still a whole bunch I've got to do um, in this area, but I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a nostalgic tour one episode out <laughs> no uh the the real reason i'm back here is i've got i, I just have to get more supplies <laughs> i'm running out so i'm gonna grab some supplies and i think what i'll probably also do is uh bring shade over uh to the new area uh, so i'm excited for that and today we've got a whole bunch of stuff to do and and i just want to warn you guys um i know there are some of you that may not like building too much uh, I want to let you know that uh, today's episode is going to be pretty heavy on that for sure we've got a few different buildings we're going to build today and I can't wait uh, to get into it so I'm going to grab some stuff I'm going to get shade and I'll meet you guys uh, once I've done that would you look at that? Okay, um, so I've added a ton of stuff into the ender chest, so we should be good there. I've got a clean slate on me. Let's head on out, and, uh, while we're going, we can take a look at the goals for today's episode, because I know, uh, some of you guys will be interested to hear what we're doing. So, one thing that I definitely want to do is build the entrance to our new area, and it's gonna have a little wall on it. Now, th this by no means is going to be a walled village, but I thought I would have a little gate, and I think it's gonna look pretty cool. We're also going to build a water tower, finish the interior of our very first house, and I want to start on a small restaurant, uh, which I think will be pretty fun, so I'll see you guys once we get over there. It's a little bit of a journey, I do have to say, but we are here, and I- Oh no, I didn't think this through. Uh-oh, I gotta get indoors quick. Um, I'm gonna need to go ahead and grab one of the extra leads I have. Okay, oh, holy mackerel, holy moly, this is not good. Okay, uh, I've gotta deal with this really quick. Hold on, oh man, <laughs> all right. Uh, now that that's taken care of, uh, take a look at this, guys! So I've, I've changed one, uh, one or two things. Um, I had my brother in, and he gave me a few tips. And, uh, one of the things that he showed me was, um... Uh, I, I think, I don't know, the roof was a little off, so I decided to deconstruct that area of the house, so the roof right here is gone. Um, it stayed uh, right here a little bit, and then I extended this up just a tad to make it more vertical, because I think it had too much roof to be western, so uh, so there we go. Uh, we've added a little bit more to this house, and in today's episode, uh, like I said earlier, one of the things I want to do is finish up on the interior, so so that'll be pretty cool, and I think we might as well just get started. I oh no, oh no, the subscriber question of the day. Oh, we gotta go back, we gotta go back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, all right, we're back. <laughs> I couldn't leave these guys for too long. So uh, let's take a look inside of the subscriber shack and take a peek at the comment question of the day, which comes from Android OS. Is this guy's username? It's true, bear with me. Um, he asked, if you ever wanted a mob to be added to Minecraft, what would it be? And I think that is a brilliant question, so thank you. <gasps> Whoops. Uh, thank you for that question, buddy. And uh, if you guys would like to leave any questions for, for future episodes, please do leave them in the comment section below. Also, let me know what is your answer to that question. I will give you mine um, as soon as I get my stuff and head on back over to the desert. <laughs> 
All right, all right, I, I gotta jump in really quick. A little editing cut, I apologize. I completely forgot to answer the, uh, the comment question of the day. So, um, I'll give you my answer. The, the mob I want, the mob I really want is butterflies. Or just regular things fluttering around that you would see. Anything small, it doesn't even have to be, doesn't even have to be, uh, anything special. Just like a small butterfly or, or birds up in the sky. I know we have parrots now, but birds, could you imagine if if you just saw an eagle fly by every once in a while. That would be so cool. Or, or maybe even in the ocean to have actual fish swimming around or, or squid in there. No, we already have squid, of course. Um, uh, yeah, something like that. Like a, like a, like a, a stingray or something cool that actually swims around and you can actually see kind of like squid. So, um, yeah, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. And hello, Mr. Husk. I'm not talking about you. Don't worry. Oh yeah, and uh, while I'm out here, take a look at that. Just a little sneak peek of what we're doing today. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so uh, before we begin working more, a little, a little more today uh, on some of these buildings and things that I'm working on, I want to uh, to talk about the future of this area because I, I was a little nervous, but you guys seem to be really, really excited for the most part about this area, and I missed him. I knew I was going to. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so uh, let's talk. Let's talk for a quick second. Um, you guys gave me a ton of ideas, so I want to go over a few of the things that you guys said in the comment section of last episode, um, and some of the ideas you gave me. So, uh, people were saying, um, maybe possibly build a sheriff's office, which is really cool, and if I build one of those, I'll have to build a jail, which I'm excited about. I could also build some sort of gun shop with the range in the back, that would be really cool. Uh, maybe some restaurant for everyone in the town to eat at and gather at, and then maybe there could also be a saloon, which is maybe a little more focused on the drinks instead of the food, which would be pretty cool to build. Um, also, I could build a church somewhere far away, like on top of that hill up there, or over there, or something like that. That could be really, really, really cool. Um, also, by that church, there could be a cemetery. That's something uh, a lot of you guys commented about. Um, also, a train station and a train. I could add one of those in here somewhere. Um, the gallows, like where they hung outlaws and, and and, and rebels and spies and all that the, the the bad cowboys the bad bunches um so so we could do that and we could also build like a stable where people have horses a little bit different than the one over there of course but um yeah, so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of inspiration. If you think of anything else, please just let me know. Um, and if you have any builds that you think would be cool to fit in here, send me pictures, um, ideas, or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, this is just as much uh, my project as it is yours. So uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. Now, uh, now that that's over, I think I'm going to give the interior of this area a little makeover. So I'm going to get the creative juices flowing, figure out what this needs, and I'll be back once I'm done. Oh, <laughs> you scared me. Um, okay, we're, we're done. We're finished. Now, that took a little longer than I had expected, so I apologize for that. However, um, this is looking good over here. It's looking really good. So, outside, basically the same. Now, keep in mind, this is supposed to be brown, Stained glass? Um, I don't know why it's not working, though. So, it's definitely a texture pack issue. It's an issue with the texture pack. So, I'll have to take a look and see what exactly is causing that. But, um, other than that, everything else is good. So, we can take a peek on inside. And, oh, 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 okay. The grand entrance. Do -do! Here we go. So, indoors, what we're gonna have is a few paintings, some nice shrubbery inside. It's a little overgrown up there. That's fine, though. Um, down here in the kitchen area, uh, off to the right, we've got a little bit of a different flooring, something a little rougher, uh, and then some storage, uh, a furnace, uh, a chopping board, a crafting table, and, uh, and a cauldron with some water. And, of course, a dead cactus or plant or whatever you call that. Dead bush. Yeah, that's it.
Now, down here, this is no longer really a house. It's more of a, it's more of a gathering area. So, this is where, I guess, you get seated by the waiter or waitress or whatever have you. Or it's just an area where you can talk to an employee. Um, and then over here is where you sit down. And then I've got two jukeboxes here. Uh, now, I don't have my discs with me, which is unfortunate because that would be cool. Um, I got two. Wait, did I get, when did I get the, when did I get them? Oh, it was was on the uh it, it was on the redstone mansion not the redstone the woodland mansion it was on that journey so i do have some i can try it out uh but yeah this is like the jukebox area over here um and then that's it so that's it for the interior and um and then i also of course have the upstairs which i have yet to do anything to so if you come up here, you as you can tell, uh, nothing is new, unfortunately, but we have a whole bunch of area up here that that needs to be done. And this could just be seating, really, uh, uh, for, for, for people that come by. So I uh, just have to figure out what I want to do there. But that is all uh, as far as the... Or you know what? Give me just a second. Uh, well, well, that worked well, so let's take a peek and see what I've done. I've added a few different things here. Um, to start off, we've got some storage here, some cubbies where you can put your belongings while you go enjoy the sunset and eat at this two-person table. Or come over and stand by the, by the bar and just take a look at this view. Or sit at the exclusive table for four. So, uh, yeah, just some more areas to sit and eat, and we've got some baddies down there uh so yeah that's the final i i think i think the final uh the final product here so uh, a restaurant now a complete we've got outdoor seating above and uh indoor seating below uh pretty cool so i think that's that for our first goal for the day so uh one down a few more to go so uh, the big thing I want to do now is I want to set up a water tower. I think it'll be really cool uh, and, and super iconic for the area. So uh, how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to set it up right here in this area. Um, I'll have to cover some of this with, with sand, I guess. But um, yeah, it should be cool. Also, I, I didn't mention this, but I added these things that I guess you could tie a horse up onto? I don't know, they just look kind of cool. I still do need to decorate the ground a little bit more, add the main road, uh, but that'll all come at a later date. So, what I'm gonna do now is uh, get this water tower up and running. So, um, let's begin. So, I... <laughs> Oh man, I might have to take these out immediately, but this is where I'm gonna put the water tower. It's go. Oh, I can't even pick them up. I've got a full inventory. Anyways, um, this this is gonna be the water tower. It's gonna have four uh, stilts, I guess, and it's probably gonna go up maybe as tall as this house and a half, I think. Um, maybe even taller, maybe even two times as tall. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But, uh, this is the progress so far. Give me just a second. So there we go, that is step one. Um, so what I did here was I simply added four, uh, four fences like that in a cube and just took it up eight tall. So in total, this is nine tall if you count the cobblestone, uh, if, you're, if you're going block for block with me there. So, uh, so that's that, it's looking pretty cool. I mixed in birch and oak and I think they go pretty well. So uh, that's that, let's move on to the next phase. So, here we are, the next stage. So, what I did here was um, I added logs going across the outside of each of the four... Uh each of the four pillars, and, and we've got that going. I've also got signs there to make it look just a little bit more supported from far away. Um, and, and then the last thing I have is on the bottom here, I've got a latch that's open, and this is going to allow me to jump up using the slime launcher system and get inside of the water tower. Now, it's not actually gonna hold water um, for this purpose, um, but that's just gonna allow me to climb through it and get a good view of the area. So that's what I've got so far. If I can come back up here one more time, I can show you. Oh, yeah, 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 jeez. Oh, there we go. Um, this is what it's going to be like up here. There's not going to be too much room to walk around, but, um, 
you know, I'm pleased with this so far. So that's that. I need to grab a few more things and uh, I'll work on it a little more and come back to you guys once I've got some progress. And there we are, the finished water tower, or, or at least I think it's finished. I might, I might decide to add something a little bit later, but um, this is what we've got. And I believe it puts this house into scale a little bit better and uh, makes this house feel a little bit less significant. I mean, this is huge for goodness sakes. There's so much water in there, they, they, uh, you know, th this just goes to show that there needs to be a lot more here than just this house, um, or restaurant, excuse me. So, so yeah, uh, that is, uh, that's pretty cool, it's definitely what I was shooting for, um, and, and just to show you guys really quick how, ooh, I dropped some of the concrete powder, hmm, um, but yeah, this is, uh, can I show you exactly how I did this? I guess I can. Yeah, why not? So, um, I'm just, it's kind of hard with all this stuff that falls. There we go. Oh, oh, well, yeah, I messed it up. Anyways, uh, it's just a simple slime block launcher. You launch your slime up like that with the sticky piston, and uh, if you don't mess up the redstone, uh, it should actually work. <laughs> there we go, just like new. And wait, 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 can I switch the orientation? No, I can't. Anyways, hey, uh, oh, are we good? Nope, didn't fix it. <laughs> Here we go. So that should launch us up and then we can climb on in. Now inside of the water tower, I could put water here. I could, and I could block it off, but I kind of like this latch open. It looks all dried out. Um, on the inside, I used terracotta, which I think is actually cyan um, right here. And then the powdery sand stuff is... Um, is gray concrete powder, I believe. Um, one of the colors is funky. It's either the powder or the terracotta. I think it's the terracotta. I think it's cyan, but it looks really gray, so it works. Um, and then up here, we can climb on over to the top, and as you can tell, we've got an outlook. And just look how much taller it is than that. Oh, it's so cool. Um, so you can see a little bit of the savanna out there, but really all you can see other than that is just a ton of desert. So uh, pretty cool. Um, and uh, I think it worked out well. So now that we've got the water tower in, oh man, that looks good. Um, I, what I want to do is add the, the gate. And I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and because uh, I have an exact idea of how I want it to look. So I'll do that really quick for you guys. Uh, and I'll be right back. It should be very simple. Just need a few logs and planks. It should be, should be easy. Should be easy. So... Oh man, oh man, it's gonna get dark. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. So, this is what we got going here. Uh, now, I know it's off-center. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. I'm gonna get rid of some of this right now. May as well. It, it breaks really fast. So, we'll do some of that just so you can see what's going on here. Um, okay, that should be good. Let's uh, head on back. And now, you'll be able to tell... There we go. So this is the center, um, and, I, and I think it's better to have it here because this center will line up with the town a little bit better. Uh, uh, to be right here, I, I think works because I, uh, I have enough room to make a, a nice street, a nice, a nice sized street in the middle. So uh, that should work there. Uh, that was just a little too close to the house, unfortunately. That's fine though, because uh, I can just wind the path right on up through the middle. So that'll be fine. Um, so there's step one on to step two. There we are. That's it, guys. So, um, what I did here quickly before... Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time. I gotta hurry. So, um, I, I added a little bit of a destructed wall here to go around. And, and like I said, I don't want to have to put a wall around this whole city. I just don't think that makes sense. But maybe just a little gate like this. I, I think it looks good. And then, if you guys can help me figure out a banner, we can hang it right there. Uh, on either side of this uh, sign, and, uh, and and then we'll be able to see what 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 the, what the banner's all about, and it'll be able to signify this town, and it'll be so cool. So uh, that's that. That's how I'm feeling about that. Now, of course, I will have to realign the walkway and and stuff like that, but that can all be done. Uh, that can all be done. That should not be an issue. And I'm a sniper. I'm telling you guys, living out in the desert really 
does improve your accuracy. Oh, he disappeared. Hello? Hey, there we go. See, I'm accurate. <laughs> and another thing. Oh, oh, can I get him? Oh, just a little short. How about that one? There we go. A lot of these guys out here are spawning um, villagers. They're spawning as zombie villagers. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, know, I know a few of you guys were saying in the last episode, how in the world would villagers survive if there are so many monsters in the desert? Well... Uh, well, none of this is lit up, so w once I eventually light it all up, it should be good. Um, but I think it would be cool. I think it would be really cool. Um, and also, having uh, having the darkness, I, I kind of enjoy it. It kind of adds a little bit for me. So, um, anyways, that's it. So, so we've got the gate over there, which is looking cool. We've got the water tower, uh, which does need a little bit of light. And then... Um, our restaurant. Uh, so I think I might start working on one more build before the day ends. So uh, this is the layout I've got here. Now um, it looks a little bit, it looks a little far back, but I'm on, on this one I'm gonna have a front porch that stands a little above the ground, which I think will be cool. I know some of you guys were commenting on yesterday's episode, or the, the last episode, and you were saying you should add an elevated porch because most of them had elevated porches. And, uh, and I completely agree. I just wanted to have this one on the ground. Um, one, that's just the way it worked out when I was building it. And, and then two, um, if I had them all up or all down, it would get boring. So I want to have this one on the ground, and then I'll bring this one above the ground. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool. So this is what we have so far. It's very simple, very square, which I know I usually avoid, but in, uh, in the Wild West, it's just how they did it. So, um, we've got pillars there's five tall, three blocks away, or three blocks in between each one, and uh, it just makes a square like this. So that's that. Uh, let me see what else I can come up with. All right, all right, all right, there we go, guys. Now, as you can tell, this one's looking a little bit darker, a little bit gloomier, um, and a little bit more uh, rectangular. This one, this one, I, t I think I tried too much to make it um, not as rectangular. This one's just gonna be straight up rectangular um, with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of depth uh, up there. Um, and then I'll have this goes a little higher, but, but for the most part, the build Thing is going to be super out westy so it already kind of feels that way uh, with the porch and the super flat face um, but I'll work on it and it'll be a little bit better and hopefully in the next episode we'll get this building finished and furnished um, but, but that's good so we've started this building we've cleaned up uh, we've cleaned up the restaurant which we thought was gonna be a house but is a restaurant and um, and then there's also this water tower, which I really like. So, uh, I think that's it for today's episode. Now, please do let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the next one, because I could continue building, and I know some of you would love it, but some of you may not be uh, as into it. So, I can try something else. I can go to the end, to a new biome, uh, to something like that, or we can just stick around town and, uh, and get some work done. It's all up to you guys. Anyways, that's just about it it for today's episode guys uh thanks so on that note i will talk to you all later and as always stay frosty my friends peace guys see ya bye bye